Heading back to the safety of home. This time, though, it's South Africans leaving Mozambique. They're afraid of reprisal attacks for the xenophobic violence that swept parts of South Africa. Already, petrochemicals group Sasol said it would repatriate 340 South Africans working in Mozambique after local employees protested about their presence. And on Friday, a mob of around 200 Mozambicans barricaded a road leading to the South African border in protest. What's happening is that our brothers in South Africa are being killed. Not because of theft or crime, they're being killed unfairly. We do not want to do the same. What we are asking for, we do so peacefully. We ask only that South Africans do not enter Mozambique and those who came have to leave. Governor of Tete province, Paolo Alge, says security officials are trying to keep South Africans safe. We became aware of this situation last night and put all the mechanisms in place. The police have been on the scene 24-7. We appeal to the population not to take part in acts of vandalism or xenophobia because it could impact the economy negatively. It could also damage relations between our two countries. Meanwhile, the Malawian government began the repatriation of 500 of its nationals. Men, women and children waited anxiously to begin the three-day journey back home. They'd sought refuge at the Isipingo makeshift camp. I'm happy because uh, I'm going home alive. But you see, to go home is tough. We're here so that we can survive, you see. But uh, they're saying we must go back home. I'm not happy going back home. It's because... I came here in South Africa to look for something, my needs, and to help other people, like my parents and my daughter, so that they can survive. Kenya and several other African governments have also offered to evacuate any of their citizens who feel threatened. Clementine Logan, CCTV.